everyone this is Amy welcome today to my channel today I'm going to do another one of my meditation pieces I'm going to be using an a magic round brush number 12 a filbert a magic brush number 14 and a, a flat brush by a magic and it's also a number 12 number 10 dear foot stippler and my fine liner by Westonia and I think I'm going to use a couple of my dotting tools, uh, my daubers, to paint on this also. Paint I'm using are all folk art paints using light lavender. And I just stuck my finger in this. Uh, aqua. Always can't, can't go through without getting paint on my hands. Magenta. Red Violet. Licorice, Autumn Leaves, and Wicker White. Now when you're doing one of these, like my new series, uh, I'm getting into meditation, getting ready hopefully in the next few months to get certified to teach it. So that's one reason I'm doing this because I like to create and combine the two. So the whole purpose is grab some paint, Grab an item. You couldn't even do it on paper. You don't have to do it on glass, but I have bottles, so I'm doing it on bottles. You could even use these bottles to stick incense in them, you know, like from the top, and have them sticking out because they're 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 pretty. But it's the whole point is is for you to turn on some relaxing meditation music, maybe take a half an hour or so, and paint. And this is very abstract, so you don't have to be concerned, like, did I do that petal right? Did I not do it right? Just pick out colors that you want to use on your bottle. Pick out the brushes that you want to use, or if you have items around your house that you want to try to use the paint with, because there are some creative things that you can do with just household items. Go for it. Just put the music on. Relax, because what this is doing is taking... The thoughts out of your mind and giving you a chance to clear your mind and relax while doing something creative. All right, so not practice this. I'm just going to grab a brush. I'm going to start with the flat brush and I'm putting it into the magenta. I have no plans here. So just so you know, I'm just putting this paint on in a random way. Again, that's the whole point. And I'm only going to do the front right now, but I'll finish off the rest once I'm done with this video in case I decide to use this in my little studio. So I'm going to go in next to the light lavender using the same brush. And I'm just going to come through here and paint. And eventually, once I do a few of these, I will stop talking and go ahead. I guess I hit the brush into the, the aqua here. So we'll just go ahead and... And I also, I forgot to say, I used a uh, sea sponge and used, I believe, yellow light, school bus yellow, and... Um, the wicker white to paint the base here and you don't have to paint a base you don't have to if you don't want but I, I decided to do that so I'm going to go ahead and take my round brush and put it into the red violet and I'm just going to come through here kind of like I did my last one you can just use random strokes if you want to make it look like a flower you can or you can just have you know just random strokes throughout nothing nothing special it is supposed to be abstract and just very free flowing yeah, put your put your music on and go to town that's all you have to do I can dip into some of my white here and just come up in here back into it
just be creative and that's all all you have to do just be very loose and then I'm gonna do my filbert brush into the autumn leaves I'm gonna come up here just do some random stroking and of course you know I might pick up some paint as I go because I am going through wet paint again it's just very random and I can even stick the same brush I am NOT cleaning off in between if you want to feel free to do so I'm just doing it very loosely and pulling all the colors in then I'm going to come back to my uh, first brush that I used which was the flat brush and I'm just going to come back through here just make some marks and you can try to cover up the base paint if you want or you can leave a little showing and I'm just going to leave a little showing it's just pretty simple and that simple right all right I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna take one of my my little daubers there's a lot of paint on the bottom of that and I'm just gonna come in here just periodically and stick it on here does not have to have any kind of you know you got to do so many or you have to have them spaced in a certain place no not at all just wherever you want them just very randomly I can come back in with the next one stick it in my paint and do the same thing just come back in and put it wherever I feel the need Again, it's just very freeing to do this. Very freeing. I like it. Again, it's just very random. Now I'm going to take my Deerfoot stippler, kind of put it in some white, and just come back in here. And in some spots, just kind of go through, pat on some white. just randomly place it and again this isn't probably for everybody but I just think that giving yourself the ability just to quiet your mind is just an awesome way to do it and be creative at the same time then if you want you can take your this here you can take your little liner brush. I'm just putting it in here and try not to get excess paint. The last time I did, you know, little lines. And you can do these. You're going to be pulling through the paint. You can do little squirrely lines. You can do them sideways. You can do like this. here they just don't have to be anything particular you can do straight lines curly lines again just however you want to do it I don't know why I kind of like the hashtag ones but that's up to you however you want to do it but see pretty easy doesn't take very long you can do it longer which it would take a little bit longer to finish the back of it um, again just relax have fun you know I get these through these quickly but just slow down and take your time and again I will finish the back so the whole bottle is, is complete all right 
I hope you like this quick video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Prior to leaving, if you would take a moment to share this video on your social network with your family and friends, I would appreciate that. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.